What up? Today we're going to talk about waves. This is a circle. You probably knew that. If we were to turn this circle on and watch it go up and down and up and down and trace that motion out, you get what's called a sine wave, which you know to be important in things like pendulum motion, particle physics, things of that nature. Sine waves are important. But for my money, the coolest thing about them is you can add them together to do other things, which sounds simple until you realize this is how the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics was won. My buddy Brady Heron has a really good video about that over on 60 Symbols. There's some fancy math I learned at the university called the Fourier series. Uh, these are my old notebooks. And check this out. The teacher challenged us to create this graph by doing nothing but adding together curves and I found where I did it it's right here and it took me it looks like four or five pages yeah it took a lot of pages and I ended up with this I was able to make the graph by adding together a bunch of waves and to demonstrate that I created this I had to get a tripod here's my flip book so it starts with one sine wave and then we add another one and you can see the more waves you add together the closer the function gets to what you're supposed to make. Because you can see like that and that look very similar. That's 50 waves added together. So it's cool and it's one thing to know how to do the Fourier series by hand. It's quite another to understand how it works. And I didn't really have that moment of it clicking in my brain until I saw this awesome blog by a guy named Doha from Turkey. He's a student at Georgia Tech. I want to show you this. This made it click in my mind unlike anything. This transcends language. So let's go check out Doha and let him teach you how a Fourier series works. I'm in Georgia Tech. This is Doha. Hello. You have visualized via animation a Fourier series in the most beautiful way I've ever seen in my life. Sine waves are probably the simplest kind of wave, right? The second most simple kind of wave is a square wave, but the difference is you have sharp edges in a square wave. The first thing that Doha did to impress me is he used curvy waves to make sharp edged square waves. We have to add up different oscillations yes. or simple harmonic so motion harmonic, here. Harmonics, yes. Yeah, and so the first harmonic, n equals one, gives you this. Yes. Which looks nothing like it. Not, not interesting, just boring sine wave. And I add one, one more, it's actually like it. Um, I'm adding one harmonic and other one, one third of that harmonic radius. So you're adding a base, let's, what are we gonna call these, wipers? Yeah, let's call them wipers. Okay, so we're gonna add a wiper on a wiper. <laughs> and by doing that, and we graph the function. And then, and then for, for follow the tip of these wipers. Yeah. And draw that respect to time. It's awesome, man. Yes. Like this is, this is really, really beautiful and really, really simple. So I can add more wipers. Maybe more harmonics. And, and I add 15 harmonics something very really cool <laughs> oh wow it looks like a whip yes so you're saying is so basically here, here's the upshot a Fourier series you can create any function as a function or an addition of multiple simple harmonic motion components right yes all Doha is doing is he's taking these sine waves that we explained earlier and he's stacking one on another sine wave he's stacking the circles to add together these waves to create a Fourier series. These visualization techniques that Doha developed worked on any version of any function. For example, on a sawtooth wave, you can see at n equals eight how the Fourier series starts to play out. It looks really cool. How did you do this? Like what program did you use to visualize this? I use Mathematica. Mathematica? Mathematica, yes. Really? Yes. So if I give you any function, can you create this? But you had to flip it into video format somehow. How did you do that? I, I, I explored it in like if um, I created a table of the different times of this um, of this animation, and then I just exported those tables into GIF. That's that's all what I did. Okay, here's here's an interesting question. Are people? It's it's actually GIF. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. <laughs> so if I were to give you a function, like if I were to give you a super super complicated function like a really weird curve, you could make a graphic like this? Probably, I can, yes. So I can challenge you? Yep. Let me explain what's happening here. Amongst academics, there's this thing that I just now made up called Math Swagger. And basically, it's when a person's good at math, they like think they can do anything with it. It's not like a prideful thing. I mean, Doha's a very humble person, but you could tell he was very confident in what his abilities with math were. So I can challenge you? Yep. 
which is why I'm challenging him to draw this with the 4A series. It is that Smarter Every Day thing that you see all over the internet. I totally am geeking out right now. I love this. Um, it's a hard image to draw using math. It's got like curves, right? It's got little sharp points and switchbacks. It's self-serving for me. So this is an appropriate challenge for somebody that's uh, demonstrating math swagger. The problem is he actually can do it. He can model this using nothing but circles in the Fourier series, which is completely impressive. Check this out. The first thing that he has to do in order to draw this image is to extract the X and Y positions that he would need to make functions for in order to make this thing work. He then needs to create a Fourier series for each one of those functions so that he can add them together. And as you can see, these first few were not winners. I mean, like no stretch of the imagination could make your brain think this looks like the side profile of a human head. Everything's a bit derpy. But as he starts to refine it, and he adds more and more waves to the functions, things start to hone in and it starts to look really good. At about 40 circles in this whole function, things start to look really good and your brain would totally think that you're looking at a drawn image instead of a mathematically drawn function. If you look closer at just one of these arms, you would think that it's chaos, but it's not. It's complete order backed up by a mathematical function. In fact, this is why I love math. It's the language that describes the entire physical world. We can approximate anything as long as you have enough terms. This is the beauty of the Fourier series. You take simple things you understand, like oscillators, sine waves, circles, and you can add them together to do something much more complex. And if you think about it, that's all of science and technology. You take these simple things and you build upon them and you can make a complex system that can do incredible things. A simple thing can lead to something incredibly powerful. Speaking of the power of simple things, I wanna say thanks to the sponsor. KiwiCo. I reached out to KiwiCo and asked them to sponsor Smarter Every Day a long time ago because this can change the world. They send a box to your house for a kid to open and build a project with their hands. They're not on a phone, they're not like on a tablet, they're building something with their hands and that's gonna change how they look at things. So you might elect to work on the kit with your child or it might be important to have a hands-off approach and let them build something on their own and see it through to completion. The kit comes to your house, there's really good instructions in there, the kid gets to work on a project themselves and at the end of the project, they have something they built with their own hands. Ultimately, I just want you to do this for your children or a child you love and I want more of this in the world. Go to kiwico.com smarter and select whatever kit makes the most sense for the kid in your life. Get the first kit for free. You just pay shipping. You can cancel the subscription at any time. It makes a great gift. I really believe in KiwiCo. Kiwico.com smarter. Thank you very much for supporting Smarter Every Day. I appreciate your work and I just Thank wanted you. to say that. Thank you. That's why I came to Georgia Tech. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's it. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. I'll leave links to his website below. Have a good one. Is that Honestly. cool? If you want to subscribe to Smarter Every Day, if you feel like this video earned it, you can click that. That's pretty cool. Whatever. You're cool, you can figure out what you wanna do. I'm Destin, have a good one. Bye.